Hello. How are you? Hello. Welcome to the show, everybody. It is May 8th. I'm Haley Harmon. This is Lee Cruz. Uh, today's show, we're going to celebrate nurses. You know, I'm a yes, huge fan of nurses. You really are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. Oh, man. He is so dedicated to the cause yeah. of nursing. And all this yeah. week is the celebration of uh, the folks who really, they're the principal uh, health care uh, person. For someone who really cares about life. them, can't really articulate it. Well, I'm trying and that's to articulate okay. it. It's because I'm emotional about it. Yeah, yeah. But they are they're on the front lines of America's health care needs. Yes, they are. It is National Nurses Week. So joining us today will be Frontier Nursing University. Their program, um, they want to talk today about how you can thank a nurse because it is National Nurses Week. And they're going to give us a little nursing quiz. Yeah, with, and there's high stakes in this because there's punishment for the loser. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to compete against each other, and you know we're very competitive, so we'll see how it goes. Plus, one of our favorite personal favorite More. brunch spots, we love that place. Our item on the menu we always order, Calamity, Calamity. Katie's. Uh, well, I always call it Calamity Jane for some reason. I know, I'm not quite sure. Isn't that an old West figure? I think it is. It's named after that, I think. Hmm. Calamity Jane was a, a gunfighter or something, I believe, yeah. Jill's nodding at you because she has no idea what you're talking about. And she about. agreed with me. <laughs> Yeah, she's heard of it. But the Calamity Katie is what we get. It's a menu item at Wild Eggs. And they are scrambling things up for mom just in time for Mother's Day with some special deals. But yeah, yeah. we used to go eat at Wild Eggs at least once a week. Especially when we were doing the morning show. Yeah, we would go between so the morning lag. show and this show. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Not we anymore. haven't been in a while, which no. is probably good because we downed so much mm. corn cakes and queso and eggs. And they also so do delicious. a mean Bloody Mary. Yes, they Not do. Not that we did that during Never. work hours. That's crazy. Yeah. Although I think we told you guys one time we went there and we we oh, wished yeah. we were <laughs> off work, like these two ladies that were next to it us. It was 9 a.m. Oh, and they were living their truth. They but they had a picture of mimosas. Yeah. For one person, she had a picture, <laughs> and then right. she had a picture. Then they had Bloody Marys. Then we're just we're like just totally eavesdropping. Like these ladies have the life we want. Are they off work today? Do they uh, do they not work? We don't care. Whatever they're doing, we want. Then the other girl says, after they've had the pictures and the bloody, she goes, "Yeah, come here to the server." And she was like, "I want another bloody, but make it a double this time." Yeah. And the server was like, "I'm sorry," and she said, "That's two shots of vodka." <laughs> and the server was like, "No, I know. Okay, okay." Yeah, I, I was just. Pausing because it's 9:30 a.m. Yeah, yeah we were like, yeah, yeah. But hey, they right. Ubered and so they're in the clear. All they're right. Good to go. Well, uh, there's a lot of big news uh, on uh, as far as today's concerned. So it's part of our hot topics. You're ready to go? Let's go. Let's get to some royal news to kick us off. And now, royal family news with Haley, a royal pain for Lee. Okie dokie, in case you haven't seen, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex posed for photos this morning for reporters, giving the world its first glimpse of the newest royal baby. Meghan Markle gave birth to the baby boy early Monday. Her husband, Prince Harry, talked to the media just hours after the birth at Windsor Castle. He surprised reporters. Uh, he called the birth the most amazing experience he could have ever possibly imagined. Well, after a few days of family time, they posed for these photos today. Here's the video of it. The photo is just absolutely beautiful. We got a little glimpse glimpse of the baby and we now know the name less than an hour ago they released the name this precious angel's name is Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor I think he is so beautiful and I think the name is what do you so mean adorable. he's so beautiful we haven't seen anything well you haven't seen the photos that could yet. be a pig wrapped up in that blanket you haven't seen the photos yet quit being negative well I, you just were empirical about oh it's a beautiful baby you can't see anything I've seen the photos you jerk and yeah. every baby is beautiful why do you gotta hate on everything I'm proud that they be named happy. him after one of the most beloved hee-haw characters Archie Campbell that's right it's fantastic I think the name is adorable yeah little Archie yeah. Prince Archie. I think it's so cute. It's not very dignified. Archie. Okay. Is it? Does Archie sound like the king of England? Or does it sound like a guy you bought He'll likely parts never be from? king. He'll likely never be king. And that's, that's okay. True. He's still just absolutely wonderful. Or even a prince. Prince Archie. I think it's cute. Prince Archie is a fast food hamburger joint. You are so, you, you you are are so mean. Prince Archie's? You are so mean. <laughs> I'm glad you don't have children because otherwise people would probably be mean to you about your child and their name and you would have to know what this feels like. You know what like. that would make give them character then. They'd be a tougher hombre as they 
grow old and, and ready to handle weird I situations I think new in life, life is lovely, and I think whatever they Listen, want to name their baby, shut up, let me talk for a change. Oh, see what you have to deal with. I think the name is adorable, and hey, it's their business, and they can name it whatever they want. Of course they can. But we, when people name their baby weird names, we don't celebrate it's not a it. weird name. We don't have a, 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 a trumpet intro and, and then talk about it nonstop. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I talk about I and I feign kid... interest in so many topics that you want to talk about on this show. You're faking it? I fake constantly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you faking? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, what topics do we not talk? You tell me what, that you don't like stuff. You don't hide it. I know, but I let you at least talk about it. Because I know other people are interested in it. And just because I'm not interested in it doesn't mean I can't have a lovely conversation about it and say, I'm not into this, but you are, and that's your business. I Listen, yeah, but no, I don't force these things on you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. We talk about stuff that you want to talk about all the time. Like Sports, what? cars. Life? Oh, I'm this sorry. is all you drone on about. No, it's not. Okay. I also talk about makeup. <laughs> I talk about hair products. I talk about collagen. Mm. If you're not taking collagen, ladies, you need to get on it. It's important to everybody at least have two to four years of collagen. 